next step is to create a vlan for this interface e1.1 you know how to create yeah we need to go to network and vlan and we need to create one vlan for this purpose so let's go to asm and go to network and here is vlan and vlan list click on create and let me give them name internal vlan so let's take automatically it's better to take this name and by the way this is internal vlan okay no need of tag okay and 1.1 this is the interface 1.1 okay and select untag and add you know the difference between tag and untag we cover in ltm okay uh, basic configuration it's okay everything is okay just click finish so my internal vlan is created next thing i need to assign self ip yeah that's the next step which we normally do yeah self ip so what i can do self ip we decide this one this is self ip 1.10 Control A, Control C. 1.10 which we decide to assign. 1.10 self IP. So what you can do, go to network and here is self IP. And click create. Okay, so I would say internal self IP. By the way, it's a good name. They take automatically. And what is our IP? It's 1.10. Sorry, let me change them to 1.10 because our one is 1.10 in this case 1.10 and subnet mask is 3 times 255 and the vlan we just created internal vlan no need of external vlan we have only one arm which we will use port lockdown we already know so i say uh, allow default one okay this is the default which they will allow ssh and http and all those stuffs and that's it and click finish so self ip is done if we go back to interface, we are using only one interface, 1.1, which is up and it's okay and forwarding mode. Uh, now, this is the basic thing which we do, yeah. So, self IP is done. Now, what else we need? Another thing is we need to configure nodes. We already know what is node. So, in my case, I have three nodes, 1.1, 1.2 and 1.3. So let me copy one of them. This the three node I need. And let me go to ASM. And what we can do, go to, uh, sorry, go to, mm, there is, uh, where is, sorry, LTM, here is. So go to LTM and there is node list. Create. And the first one is, SRV1 is the server one, yeah. SRV1. So this is the name. Description is internal server one. If you want to give them internal web server one. Okay, and the IP address I just assign 1.1 and health monitor the default one ratio is one. If you want to change connection limit, I don't I don't want and repeat. So now I need to create another one, SRV2. Okay, and this is two, and IP address is 1.2, and repeat. Third one is SRV3. This is server three, and IP address is three, and finish. So let me show you, I created three nodes basically. One, two, and three. Okay. So let's see, let me show you these three nodes, which is our backend server, web server, by the way. Okay, so these are three server, okay. Server one, server two, and server three. So this is done. Next thing we need to create a pool. That's what we do normally, yeah. So create a pool. So how to create a pool? Go to pool to combine them, these three server in a pool. Create and I would say HTTP 
pool because we are using http pool and leave it a description and choose http okay this is the health monitor round robin is the method we are not using priority group activation and node list you can add from here this is the first one and type 80 it will choose http automatically and add second is two and add and this one is eight so i create a pool of these three nodes okay and on the health monitor http and finish so when pool is finished the last thing but not the least is virtual server we need to create but we did not decide the virtual server ip so let me copy this one and let me type a text here again and let me say that virtual server ipv will be 100 virtual server and let me change the color as well so let's see the color is this one so this is virtual server ip keep in mind this is the internal self ip this is virtual server ip so now let's go to virtual server virtual server list and click create okay i just need a virtual server now and i would say http virtual server so it's and this is limited uh, description it's a standard one source will be anything i can say 000 it can be anything but uh, destination mask it can be uh okay it can be in our case is 100 one dot 100 this is our virtual server yeah this one one dot 100 and we are using 80 so it will take http 80 uh what else we need to change keep in mind you need to choose here http otherwise it will not work because we are using so you need to change the profile client profile http and go to ssl profile we will use later okay and next thing definitely you need this one source address translation i will explain you these two things but right now i will say auto map to use the self ip okay what else i need to change yeah i need to uh, choose the pool so http pool and if you want to use persistent profile so you can use cookie either whatever up none so it's okay again i will explain you that one later on and what else i just need to go through again it's okay and click finish let's see the virtual server is okay or not okay because i done this one is it should be zero as well otherwise you can put them empty it will care about it so right now it's here now http pool 192.168.1.100 this one virtual server okay uh last thing what we need to do because we are using one arm deployment so when ltm uh, for ltm this is also a gateway so let me copy this ip and let me put a default route that whatever send it to isp so we need to configure uh, default route so let's go to network and here is a route click on route add and here default route okay default route description default d default sorry default route and destination is anything okay net mask is 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 anything and gateway address is this one that's the gateway 1.254 okay what else i need to don't need a mtu it can be the default one and let's click finish let's see they say the request object default route is invalid so they need to 
check automatically for some reason they are not showing it's default I believe uh -huh. now it's come up this one okay and click finish so now default and it's okay default gateway is this one uh, so now let's go to local traffic nodes so nodes are there we create pool pool of these three pool is there then we create a virtual server so virtual server is there 